Jesus, just on the ironing. Sweating like a fucking racehorse on steroids. Oh, uh, well, just actually I had to splash like cold water because it was just running off me. Um, Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, seriously. Right. The last, I know the last video I did is a tad long. 17 minutes something, I think it was. But please do follow it through. Um, I may consider suing him for slander with the help of the or civil enforcement fucking whatever the fucking shit was. Well, that's funny. He didn't consider suing Chris Green for slander when he called me a fucking wife beater for not paying council tax. You fucking mentality fucking retarded fucking carrots. Right, so, when I say a police constable's aggressive because he said, we'll get this done one way or the other, right? Oh, suddenly I'm going to be sued for slander. Oh, but but if a bailiff comes around and says he's going to arrest me for domestic violence because I'm not paying my council tax, and I then report that to the chief constable, which I did, nothing gets done. Fuck, can you see the fucking problem here? The police are a bunch of bent bastards. That's what it is. That's a fucking... God, I've been fucking missing it all along. The police are... I'm really not liking that phone. The police are a bunch of bent fucking bastards. That's where the fucking... Oh, Christ, how did I not realise? Okay, see me for slander. I forgot I'm going to be in jail and the chief constable is going to organise to have me killed. So let's see how far your fucking slander suit goes when I'm dead. No doubt you'll take great pleasure, PC Willem, in digging up my coffin and selling it and then chucking my decaying body back in the ground because you're an absolute fucking psychotic bastard who follows no legal procedure whatso fucking ever. Sorry, what's that even doing in a police report? I'm going to sue him for slander. What the, the fuck has that got to do with an impartial fucking police report about fucking police officer discipline? I don't... If you want to fucking sue me for slander, go and fill in the fucking forms and send them through the fucking post, you stupid fucking carrot. Don't fucking talk about it in your fucking statement. You must have relevant fucking bastard since Roger fucking irrelevant. Fuck's sake. Get to see him for slander. Going to... The nasty man was nasty to me. <laughs> A bunch of fucking crybaby fucking snowflakes we have in fucking Cambridgeshire Police. Jesus Christ. Guys, your threats are getting lamer. Your excuses are getting weaker. There was not one mention in that report of the fact that I hadn't actually been arrested last year. Not one. Not that I saw. I'll just gloss over that. Forget that. I got in the back of a marked police vehicle with uniformed officers present. Nothing had been said, but obviously, I should have been aware I was under fucking arrest. Obviously. What a bunch of lying fucking scum you all are. Look at you, protecting your bank council mates, your Ben MP mates. And what, you're proud to do the job, are you? Proud to serve? Proud to put on your uniform with little shiny patches? Well, you're a waste of fucking space then, really, aren't you? Absolute waste of fucking space. There's a reason I sent my army medals back to fucking Buckhouse. It's because you're all lying, thieving, psychotic fucking fucktards. Fuck's sake. Oh, I haven't actually identified you, sir, but you're under arrest as this person who I haven't identified.
Happy retirement, Police Sergeant Stern, who mocked my hernia, laughed at my hernia. Oh, sorry, happy sacking, I meant. Bye. Another one bites the dust. Police Sergeant Turn, who chuckled away. If you question the validity of the arrest once more, I'm going to have you in the cells for the whole weekend. Uh -huh. That's exactly the same. Uh -huh. As bring on your fucking slander suit then, PC Whelan. Using taxpayers' funds to cover up an unlawful arrest, you fucking carrot. No, really, go on. Because I'll be fucking dead anyway. <laughs> I won't really fucking care then, will I? Dear, oh dear, oh dear. And the Chief Constable, Alec Wood, is in charge of this fucking shower. In fact, Chief Constable Alec Wood agrees to have his name put on summons, which he knows nothing about. Nor does he know the circumstances as such, but he has in effect signed it. He has in effect signed that document by putting his name on it. Well, according to forest policy of Cambridge Police, the Chief Constable's name goes on every summons, even if it's illegal. So says Harry Thackeray of the Police Crime Commissioner's Office. How are you doing, Howard? What fucking organisation in the world puts the name, in effect, of the Chief Executive on every fucking document right, without that person knowing a thing about the, the fact that he, those documents are even being sent out? Same as the fucking Tory part. I've mentioned this before. Um, <laughs> I've mentioned this before. John Major contested two elections in London in the 70s, I think it was, and lost both, did not win both. So they then invented hunting ninja for a fucking organisation in the world puts a two-time failure up for another election. It's like saying to the CEO of fucking Nissan or something, Right, well, profits have plummeted 75% the last two years consecutively. But the board has decided to re-elect you because you've done such a fucking good job, mate. There, was a, there is a video on the channel about it, which is very similar to this sort of uh, circumstance of, of PC Whelan threatening to sue me for slander. Um, ages, ages ago, two years ago at least, um... There's three videos, I think, because I read out a letter. I forget what they're called. <laughs> and they um, they mentioned my YouTube channel, and they said, which, fortunately, no one watches because it's rubbish, <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> and this was an official police investigation. <laughs> But it's all right. It doesn't matter what laws you break, because no one watches your YouTube channel, mate, because you're fucking rubbish. <laughs> so we can go on breaking any fucking laws we want. <laughs> yeah, well, you just have again, I suppose. I don't know. Oh, God. Um, Guys... My accusations towards you that the Chief Constable wanted me in jail and, de and dead um, have not been answered, which therefore means they're true. So why the fuck would I care about PC fucking Adam Whelan, which apparently is his first name, Adam, um, threatening to sue me for slander because it, well, it's the 25th of July. So in five weeks or whatever, I'll be put in a cell uh, because you're not allowed to give any evidence in court anymore um, and uh, well what are you fucking threatening before you retard <laughs>
Hello. I seriously give it up. <laughs> your, your, your answers have gone beyond the fucking absurd. <laughs> I can say no more. Seriously, I... <laughs>